So, in Office you have OneNote, you have Documents, so Excel, Word, PowerPoint, SharePoint, um, I think this is just sort of the thing telling you what it's all about. So if I go to, say, Explore Word, here we go, gives you a little uh, help thing here, so if I go to... Uh, I go back and press new document that would there just help things tell you how to do it so you press the plus sign uh, it'll ask you if you want to make a word document or an excel so I'll go for word to show what it's like so here you've got a basic sort of notepad view you can type things bring up the options undo send save as you can comment you can outline you can find or you can change the format so the font text stuff like that uh, here you go, here's some of the options for formatting well, there's only only a couple of options bold, italics, underline, we'll see what you'd, ex what you'd expect really highlight, font colour um, don't want to save the changes uh, go back to the start menu and show you the next thing down which will be people so the people's hub's pretty cool you can uh, have all your Facebook contacts in here, but I don't choose to have a Facebook contact. Uh, I've got basically just uh, people I know, uh, or know well even. Um, I'm not going to go into one of the uh, people so you can see the like, because you'll be able to see the number. But you can see here, most recent, that's who you've recently been interacting with. Uh, your whole contact list there and sort of what's new this is like a Facebook feed so you can see what people have been doing um, it's pretty much it for the uh, contact view um, I can show you the well, I can't show you the phone that's got numbers on as well but I can show you pictures pictures uh, or here we have <coughs> You start off on the All tab at the top, you can see all the pictures here. These are pictures from Facebook, well, albums from Facebook here. They are sync in with it if you add your Facebook account, which is pretty cool. You can look at them by date, favourites, don't have any favourites. But if I go into, say, Save Pictures, got a picture of Clint Eastwood here. you got the Pinch to Zoom functionality, rotation feature, uh, what you'd expect really. From a, a decent picture browser. Uh, as for options, you have add to favorites, delete, upload to SkyDrive, share or users wallpaper. If you share, I think you can share or upload it to Facebook or your SkyDrive. Um, so that's a pretty cool feature. That's basically it for pictures. Um, I'll show you a few settings because there's quite a lot so I uh, don't have much time on the video left so I'll show you the application, no I'll show you the a couple of these so ringtones and sounds you can change your ringtone for all sorts of alerts like voicemail, text messages, things like that theme, not much option, you can choose to have a dark or show you the light option, light background so not much, uh, not much change there. It's just two options really. Um, you can also change the accent color, which is here. Um, that changes the tiles, the live tiles as well, the color of those. Not much in the way of customization, but it keeps the interface clean and simple, which uh, a lot of people like. You got flight mode, option for on and off, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Set up for your email and email accounts, your lock screen and your wallpaper settings, location settings, mobile network settings, date and time, brightness, keyboard, languages, ease of access, speech, find my phone, update, about, and feedback. And if I swipe to the next tab along, you have all your applications here, uh, all the options for those. So if I go into Internet Explorer, you have stuff like allow cookies. Uh, let Bing suggest type sites as I type you can change the preference of the browser so if you want the browser to 
tell websites that you're browsing from a mobile then you can do that or if you want to see full versions of websites then you select desktop uh, next thing down is the third thing that's it actually uh, there's not much left on here um, yeah if you want me to review any then uh, if you want me to review any applications from the marketplace then leave it in the comment section or send me an email or whatever if you've got any questions leave it in the comment section if you like this video like it favorite it whatever if you want to see more then don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video